Hi, it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another Vera Bradley video. This one is a little bit different. Recently, Vera did a giveaway. They're always doing giveaways lately. They've been doing a lot of them. And this one was on Instagram and I think also on Facebook. But the giveaway was you just had to post a picture if you're like your first Vera. It was hashtag my first Vera challenge or whatever. So your, your first and your most recent. Well, I did that and I actually won a giveaway. So I got to pick one item from Vera Bradley's website, anything under $100, one item. So I chose the Carson East West Tote. I didn't have any of them. I do have one North South one, but let's unbox this because I know what it is, but I haven't actually looked at it yet. So it came in a nice box, which is lovely. And it's it's got tissue. Like old school Vera fancy shipping stuff. It's a really pretty box though too. Um, so here it is. It's the East West in Holland Garden. But look at this box. This box is really pretty. I love this. Um, anyways, it doesn't have a true lid, just a slide thing. Oh, it says beauty is meant to be shared. Right there on the side of the box. That's a nice touch. Okay, so let's look at this tote. And this video, aside from that, is actually a comparison between the North South and the East West. This comparison was requested by Ling Ling, so thank you for that recommendation. Here goes. Um, first, I'm sorry, my phone. I've got Vera Mail coming and it's saying my package is out for delivery. Woohoo! More videos today. All right, well, that's always good. I love Vera Mail. Okay, so we got all the zipper covers and scent strips. Let's take a look. Okay, this looks to me, at first glance, it's about the size of a Mandy. Based on what I've seen in other pictures, that makes sense to me, that it kind of is. But the configuration is totally different. Um, I've not been into this bag because I didn't like the way the straps are affixed to the bag. I think they'll be fine, but I just was concerned that a bag that didn't have the... Um, backup structure to it or connection that that is a single point granted there's two sides to the strap but that that you know it's cotton so it could if you know, you're using the bag a lot that could rip out and that was my concern I haven't heard of that happening so it's just premature worry probably for nothing but these are the things I think about I want things to last and that just doesn't strike me as particularly robust but they do have these faux leather tags on top of it. And I think that does increase, um, potentially increase the durability of it. So maybe my concern is for nothing, like I said. But it has two straps. They actually have a pretty good strap drop. And so even for a big barrel, it fits fine, nice and easy. These are rolled handles, if you will, but it's not got the structure on the inside. So it's more like folded instead of rolled. But there is, you know, a little bit of structure to it, a little bit, but not like the rolled ones that we're used to seeing. And I think they're fine just the way they are. And they do lay flat when, when they're not being used. So actually, I like that aspect. That's cool. There are no pockets on the back, but I do like this pattern though. It's a nice snapshot. So you have the black and gray with like the subtle hints of color and pastels. Super fun. Okay. But on the front of the bag, we have a couple pockets. Let me move this handle out of the way. So first of all, you have a slip right here. I like that. That's my phone pocket for me, always. And then you have also this um, magnetic snap pocket. And there you go. It's the full, so it's this size right here to the bottom of the bag. And that's nice. So nice flap. Got the interior pattern, which is also nice. Coordinates well. And there you go. So that's up the outside. It's actually a fairly simple bag. And the inside, you have two slips on this side, right in the middle. And then on the other side, you have a zipper pocket. Now, I've got like 200 videos or something where I've been calling them slips and zips, right? I just learned from watching an unrelated brand that this is called a privacy zipper, a privacy pocket. I did not know that, so my bad, I learned something. And there you go, it has a privacy zipper on the back. Um, as opposed to a clear plastic viewable window, whatever. Anyway, little tidbits. And the bottom is unstructured. Um, it has, okay, so compared to the side of the bag, it has something in there. Like 
maybe a thick facing or something, but it's not structured at all. Not really. I mean, it's, it does have something in there, but anyway, pretty good size of a base. So this bag will hold quite a little bit. And I would venture to say more than the Mandy, even though it's pretty close to the same size because of that, that depth there. Um, because dimensionally it's probably pretty close this way. All right. So that is the East West. And thank you very much to Vera Bradley for that. Let's compare it to the North South, which to me is more like um, a little bit smaller than a Vera, but bigger than the small Vera, maybe somewhere in there. Same construct though, same handle construct. Unfortunately, both of these patterns had the metal zippers on them. Hmm, okay. And, <laughs> but you have the same thing, you have a slip pocket, you have the magnetic, and there's your interior pattern. Bramble, by the way, had a nylon interior and Holland Garden had cotton. So again, just timing of the Vera transitions of fabrications that they've been through. But I do love the colors on this. And look, I have this almost perfect, here, get that there for a sec, um, almost centered medallion there from the Bramble. So that I kind of like, but such a pretty, pretty purples and blues. Okay, this bag, Again, has the same inside, the privacy zipper and two slips, but obviously they're bigger, just proportionally. But here's the bag. Same thing on the bottom. It has like a facing structure or something, but not true structure. But there's the bottom of the bag. So pretty big. Um, again, not quite as big as the Vera and definitely not the organization inside that the Vera has. But I really like this slip pocket on the outside with also the protective pocket. So that's cool. I'm excited and it's nice to have one of each direction. So they're definitely different. Here they are side by side for just a size comparison. This is with both of them folded on the bottom, the bottom pinched like that. So it's an accurate side by side comparison there. It is a little bigger in this direction and a lot bigger in the height of the bag. And then the bottom width, let's see if we can't put these face to face. Corner to corner. Um, I would say the Bramble is about half an inch wider. So let's see what the measurements actually say because I actually pulled up that information. So there you go, the two bags. And if you are not aware, on Vera Bradley's website, you can go to really any item on there and underneath the item on the page when you're looking at it, it has a little box that you can check the box to compare. And so I just put these two side by side and then compared them and it gives you all the information. Top of the line, Carson East West tote bag costs $100 retail and the North South is $130. So, and I didn't pay that for the North South and the East West was free, so that's always good. Free is great. I like free. Um, blah, blah, blah. These talks about microfiber, but these are not microfiber, they're cotton. And okay, east west, 11 and a half by nine and a half by five and a quarter. So there you go. The north south is 12.75 by 14 by five and a half. So it is just a quarter, quarter inch wider. I think I said half, but anyway, it's close. So both of them have 11 inch strap drop and all the pockets and everything else is the same. So really the only difference is those measurements. And in case you didn't catch them as I was reading them off, and you don't want to look it up yourself. There they are in this line right here. I won't use my middle finger for you. Okay, so that is the totes. And more videos coming. And, well, the mail's not here yet, but there's some other stuff coming. So stay tuned for more. Stay safe and washy-washy. Bye for now.